GCSE Biology, syllabus statement 226, and we're looking at the structure of the human alimentary canal, otherwise known as the digestive system. And we're outlining, that is, we're going to be giving a brief summary of the functions of the parts. So if we begin up here, where food is introduced to the digestive system, at the mouth and the tongue. This is a process known as ingestion. Putting food in to the digestive system. Um, teeth help to break the food down so that it can be swallowed. So we could call that chewing. And we also have the addition of mucus for lubrication. This allows the food to slide down through the digestive system. And we also begin with the addition of salivary amylase, ending ASE, which is an enzyme that digests carbohydrates. This is all part of the ingestion process. The esophagus, labelled here in green, is a tube which carries food from the mouth to the stomach, but in which there is no digestion. So if we label that here, no digestion. And the food is able to move down through this tube in a process called peristalsis. Food is then stored in the stomach and also in the stomach there will be acid. The primary function of this acid is to kill bacteria, bacteria which may be infecting our food supply. And another feature of the stomach is the presence of a group of enzymes known as proteases. These enzymes begin the digestion of protein. As food passes from the stomach into the small intestine, there's the addition from the pancreas of digestive enzymes. And these enzymes will bring about the complete breakdown of the food so that it can be absorbed in the small intestine. The liver has a structure, uh, manufactures bile, and the bile is stored in the gallbladder, here shown in red. The bile has a number of effects, which includes to neutralize the stomach acid, so that the pH conditions in the small intestine are approximately seven. Another function of bile is to break the fat in our diet into small droplets. This is called emulsification. So food leaves the stomach, it is neutralized and emulsified and the digestion is completed by digestive enzymes from the pancreas so that the function of the small intestine is the absorption of digested food into the blood. After that food passes from the small intestine into this larger diameter tube known as the large intestine or the colon and this is where we absorb water into our bloodstream. Finally, the undigested components of our diet are stored here in the rectum and then released to the outside through the anus. Students should now construct a table of structure 
and function for the different regions of the digestive system and summarize the contents of this video.